Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Greetings to our Oblate family, to our Oblate de Macedonian family. Happy Oblate's Day as we celebrate today the approval of our constitutions and rules, especially our Oblates of Mary Immaculate. And in our morning prayer today, we are joined by the youth of El Shaddai, London. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. We place the tension beneath us with the holy relaxation. We place the turbulence within us with a safe and calm. We place the anxiety within us with a quiet confidence. Replace the fear within us with a strong faith. Replace the bitterness within us with the sweetness of grace. Replace the darkness within us with a gentle light. Replace the coldness within us with a loving one. Replace the night within us with your light. Replace the winter within us with your spring. And strengthen our crookedness. Heal our emptiness. Dull the edge of our pride. Sharpen the edge of our unity. Light the fires of our love. Quench the flames of our lust. Let us see ourselves as we see us, that we may see you. Amen. Amen. The scripture of Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus called the people and his disciples to him and said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. What gain then is it for a man to win the whole world and ruin his life? And indeed, what can a man offer in exchange for his life? For if anyone in this adulterous and sinful generation is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, I tell you solemnly, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the Gospel has emphasized to us, Jesus called the people and his disciples to him and then he gave what comes next as a consequence of that following of him. Christian life is not a joy riding as we know but more of a cross carrying. Thus the invitation of Jesus, take up your cross and follow me, is at the same time an appeal to the Christian community to remain steadfast in their commitment as Christian missionary disciples. St. Eugene de Mazinod heard the same call from Jesus and responded with courage, leaving everything endeared. And up to our present time, regardless of what circumstances we are, we continue to witness to God's goodness and love as Christians, and as missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate. We now pray together the Psalm 63, verses 1 to 8. O God, you are my God, and I long for you. 
my whole being desires you, like a dry, worn out, and waterless land. My soul is thirsting for you. Let me see you in the sanctuary. Let me see how mighty and glorious you are. Your constant love is better than life itself, and so I will praise you. I will give thanks as long as I live. I will raise my hands to you in prayer. My soul will feast and be satisfied, and I will sing glad songs of praise to you. As I lie in bed, I remember you. All night long, I think of you, because you have always been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I sing for joy. I cling to you, and your hand keeps me safe. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, for joining us today in our morning prayer, and for celebrating with us. Thank you to the youth of El Shaddai, London, for joining us in our morning prayer today. May the good Lord continue to bless and each and every one of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.